me here. Now. Hi guys, how are y'all? It's been a hot minute. I know that for sure. It's definitely been a hot minute since I've been back on here, but I'm back now and I'm about to get the ball rolling, get the popcorn going. <laughs> um, I um, just wanted to come on here this evening to talk to you guys, encourage you, know that Jesus, Jesus saves. And, you know, folks, God is giving us time. He's still giving us time, still giving us an opportunity to get it right before it's too late. However, there are some people out this world, out in this world, some people out in this world are not listening, excuse me, and not taking heat to know that God is still giving us time to get it right. So I want to talk to you guys about a, a short scripture and then I'm going to explain what it is. But first, as I do with all my videos, I'm going to pray first and end it in prayer. Precious Lamb of God, I thank you for still allowing me to use my YouTube channel as a beautiful platform to encourage all Christians to know that Jesus saves and that Jesus is real. Yahweh, Joshua, Jesus, oh Yahweh, as it says in your word in the Bible, that you give your spirit to anyone who asks for it. So, oh Yahweh, I ask you in Jesus' name to please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Oh Yahweh, fill every part of my being with your power and presence and with your spirit. Take all of me. I surrender all that I am right now, beginning on July the 21st, 2021 and beyond. In your name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. So guys, since I only have about three minutes, uh, well, the start time is three minutes, but let me just get to the point. So my point is, the scripture that I wanted to talk to you guys about is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. And it says, the Lord is not slow to fulfilling his promise. However, the Lord is patient with all his children. And he wants all of us as his children all of us as sinners to repent of our sins and turn back to Jesus Christ himself. Second Peter three, verse nine. So far, so viewers, what I get from second Peter three, verse nine is just basically saying that, you know, the Lord, he has unending patience with us. And it is not in his will for any one of us to perish, but to come to repentance of our sins. Because folks, with all this stuff going on in the world today, the signs of the end times, we're still living in the end times, we're still living in Sodom and Gomorrah days, and God is still, He, God has a clock. And you know, folks, a clock got a circle and it got numbers on it. But once that clock go tick, 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 ding, tick, 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 ding, tick, 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 ding, 
once that client go then that's it you do not want to miss that train i'm gonna repeat it again you do not want to miss that train and you most certainly don't want anybody to steal your joy because they are not worthy of your joy and you are not going to give it to them. If you choose to let someone steal your joy, then that's on you folks. But don't let the enemy steal your joy because they are not worthy of your joy. I put it that way from a Christian perspective. So folks, my main message that I wanted to get to you viewers this evening is that, you know, the Lord, he is the faithful and the true, the precious lamb of God, the first and the last, lily in the valley, bright and morning star, rose of Sharon, bird and barrier. But the Lord is also a God of righteousness and justice. In other words, the Lord does say in his word that he has unending patience with us and that he does not want any of us to perish, but everyone to come to repentance of their sins before it is too late, Second Peter 3 verse 9. But as I conclude my message this evening, remember viewers, the Lord is patient with you and he wants you to repent of your sins, but don't misuse God's grace and don't keep misusing God's grace and mercy. In other words, you get down on your knees, you repent for something, and then you go back to that same sin that you was committing. And then you get down on your knees the next day and you repent for something. And you still go back to that same sin that you are committing. So viewers, my main message that I want to get to you all is repent of your sins while you are still living and while you still have breath in your body, repent, viewers. Repent of your sins while you still have breath in your body. Every day that you wake up in the morning is a gift from God himself. Don't take that gift for granted, viewers, because once God comes back to get his bridegroom, to get his church, you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to miss that train because of your sinful choices. Because you don't want to be in the category that says, depart from me, you evildoer, for I never knew you. And for the wages of sin is death. So... I'm going to end in prayer. Father God, I thank you that you are still allowing me to use my YouTube channel to encourage all of my viewers. And Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that my viewers will realize the scripture in 2 Peter 3 verse 9, which says that you, Father God, have unending patience with us and that you do not want any of us to perish, but to come to repentance of our sins. So Father in heaven, I pray for all of those around the world that stand in the need of prayer. And I pray that they will take heed to your word, repent of their sins, and become a new creature in Christ if they choose to. Amen and amen. Love y'all and I mean it.